a beautiful three-course dinner surrounded by a circus. That's how Reese Hignall describes the only regional event on the Sydney World Pride calendar. Goosebumps, like that's all I feel. I'm just stoked. I think it's amazing for Newcastle. I think Newcastle needs stuff like this. And I'm so, like, so grateful that people at World Pride seen that in Newcastle. Pink Salt was billed as the signature food event. It was all about exciting the senses. Three prominent queer chefs, Christine Manfield, Norni Barrow and Reese Hignall, shared the cooking, while drag queens and special guests entertained. I think um, for our industry, like it is a very masculine industry and um, it's really great that World Pride had seen that and said, okay, well, we're going to do a cooking event, we're going to do a dinner, we're going to invite prevalent queer chefs from around the country to Newcastle and create an event where they are the stars. Reese is a well-known name after two seasons on MasterChef. He's no stranger to rubbing shoulders with the world's top chefs. But for the pink salt dinner, he worked alongside a chef he could barely pluck up the courage to introduce himself to. Norby Barrow from Melbourne and she is incredible. I've been a massive fan of hers for a few years now and actually when I was at the Australian Open I seen her there and I was petrified to say hello because I was fangirling about her but um, now I get to work with her. When it comes to cooking his nan is his biggest inspiration. You'd go to her house and there'd be fresh scones, bickies like I kind of didn't yet yeah, pick up the whisk if you will until I was about 12. It was fun and I still remember it to this day because it was a really cool experience and that kind of like flicked the ignition on and after that I just was fully invested. Nan may have lit the fire on Reese's passion for baking but it was social media that stoked the flames. I learned how to bake cakes, I learned how to make mousses, anything that I made on MasterChef I learned on YouTube really because um, yeah I just didn't have a mentor I suppose anymore. It was a passion and side gig until he took a leap of faith that changed his life. Yeah, getting into MasterChef has like wholeheartedly been the best thing that um, I've done, maybe career-wise and self-development wise. Um, it was fun. He loved his experience on both seasons and so did the queer community. People were able to fall in love with me for my personality and then kind of follow my journey for my drive and the like queer community was amazing towards me just um so supportive and so so loving and celebrating the contribution of queer chefs at world pride is a way of paying back that support the word pride is special and it's something that i think everyone on the queer spectrum should at some point in their life fully embrace. I see myself as a gay person that is incredibly special. I feel like I'm lucky. Like at some point, like in my creation, a little bit of glitter got sprinkled over me and I got something, a gift that wasn't given to a lot of other people. So um, I think pride is a journey. Pride is um, complex, but when you are able to stand back and reflect and acknowledge yourself as who you are, that's where pride becomes special and unique and um, is your power.